Hello everyone, welcome back to City Skylines. Here we are in North Beach Haven. We've been in a while since we've been in here. So, with that being said, this is the area we built out last time. Is that the outdoor? How is a Ferris wheel indoor attraction? Don't know. But we installed a couple mods, one being pick stuff. And the other one being find it. Well, find stuff. So literally, it gives us the ability to put props back in our game. I don't know what 238 Fairview Street is or where it is. Oh, it's right here. What's 238? Wait, where's Fairview? Fairview's that way. Somehow I clicked on that one. They're wealthy. There's only one person in here and he's an educated adult. Um, I also installed the land value rework mod, so hopefully... Let me just go in here, zoom in. These high rent things should hopefully start going away. Um, because it's reworking the, the land values. There's an accident here. How? How did you do that, sir? But we have some issues. So we're going to pause. Delete, delete, delete. And, and what that issue is. Nope. Too high. Traffic here is... I'm hoping 15 feet is enough to... Do that. And run that right back to the intersection. That looks like it's extremely high. No, not really. And it kind of looks the same minus that one needs to have keys. That way it looks the same. Okay, whatever. It's aesthetics. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take for each one of these junctions. We're going to come out. We're going to go in there. In there. Did I not put simple curve on? Yoink. curve it that way and maybe what we can do is that what in the hell happened there there we go that's that so now if they're coming this way they can come up and go that road is also that bridge is also not centered. You know what? We'll allow it. They can come up and go the other way on this road. Come in this way. They can go down and go that way. However, that being said, let's just do this backwards. I'm 
Not 55. I want it to be a 90. Do a 55 by 52 and straight in there. And then what we'll do is halfway up, we'll flip it around like we did on the other side. So now if they're coming this way and they want to go that way, and again, if they want to go that direction, they can flip around. So now hopefully that starts freeing up some traffic there. We'll three speed this and we'll watch it for a second. All right, so we're back here. I was just double checking transportation as that intersection cleared. What is going on here? Like what the hell? Three ninety three Birch. Where is that? Thirty three Birch Street, and then the train just disappears. Okay, I'm gonna really look at this stop and see what is going on here, because it almost looks like it gave me the spot for it here instead of here. So let's come in here. Good tram. Put that there. And then it just goes back the other way. So let's look what route was that? I think it was this one. No, it wasn't. It was Graham. It was this one. It was this one. I'm just follow this trim here for a second and see what it does. Apparently, it bypassed that loop altogether. see what this does I don't even know which one we're following ninety six Cypress Street On the Birch Street stop. I think it's working now. I think we are working now. 408 Birch Street. Yeah, that's 408 Birch. Now we're working. There was something glitched with that stop, I'm guessing. I'm not exactly sure what was going on.
Yeah, there we go. And now numbers are starting to climb again. We have 42 on board. This trim is ram, dude. That one's got 136. Alright, so, this is working. That trim line's now working. We'll keep an eye on it. And I think what's going to end up happening is... I'm going to end up adjusting this maybe down. Let's look at this one. Yeah, I can't drop that any down... Any further down. So let's come out and get on to what we were doing. No, I lost that intersection we were at. Let's go back to that intersection if we can find it. No. Ah, right here. Completely empty. Love it. Moving smoothly. Moving smoothly. Great. That's what I want to see. Alright, so today's episode, what we're doing is figuring out why everything is abandoning over here. And everything just collapsed. Alright. Like all my medium density is abandoning. This whole town I just built. I just built this town. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, so... House, resident zero. And what is that? Medium residential. Household 17. So, I guess what we'll do is we'll do pockets of this, and then when it upgrades, and I get the demand back, we can hopefully fill some of this in. I don't know... I think well let's let's do this let's time lapse our, an industrial park here just to we need train lines because this is what's going to happen everything's going to abandon a driving advisory has everything's going to keep abandoning medium and high density Where's my train line? That's a subway line. Try to stay off the streets until conditions improve. This has been a no, wait. public service announcement. This is that my subway? Is that my train? That's a rail yard. Okay, cool. So then, what I can do is run the rail service out of here over. Let's do that now. Let's do that now. Let's get on this. Is this even going to work? No. They, they still don't have it fixed that we can go over the dam. Alright, fine. Can't go over? That's a crap about going under. So, what exactly is driving this sudden downswing in business? Kim? Good question, Glenda. It's a crap about going under. So, we're going to time lapse this up, and we will be right back. Not long ago.
All right, so we're back here. Let's figure out how we want to do this. Let's look at contour lines, because that is up a hill a hill. So let's come in. And I think what we're going to do is we're just going to take it down to this height. We'll flush it out towards the end of the map here. And then we're going to build a little industrial type park. I don't know what that's doing. We'll just smoothen this all out. Exceed city limits. Let's buy... Because I want to fix this up. Let's buy that tile. I don't like how this looks. You know what? What we can do... Is that. We go that a little bit better shut off anarchy now so let's get the train yard let's actually bring this up still like that i want to get the train yard as close to here as possible maybe i want it to go Say, like, right about here. Boom. Now what we can do, get the extra tracks in there. I want to put an extra storage there and an extra storage there for now. Let's do a single track. I said a single track. Thank you. That one can go like that. And that one can go like that. Now let's get some road connections. Does that really have to be brought? So, uh, whatever. And then we'll do that too. Now, where are we going to attach this to? Say right here. Let's bring that 180 that way. Come off. 90 there. And do that. And then let's delete that connection. That looks okay. That looks okay. And then we're just going to run this down. I mean, it is going to start putting truck traffic here. Let's set this cargo route up. Get one from there. Right, where do we want to go? Well, we can only go up this way. it. Ooh. I'm wondering, can I... Can I... Can I work this? I'm gonna 
pause here for a second. Uh, how steep is that? That looks extremely steep. That's a 27, 12. somewhere here. That's ugly as crap. But, now we should be able to go from there. Where did I just set that up at? Over here. What do you mean no pedestrian access? No pedestrian access. Ow! Oh, oops. I was wondering what the heck was going on. Into there. We can bring it on its way back through. That's a passenger train station. And we can bring it back. Do that. Do I have an outside train connection? Complete route. Alright. So now let's go look at trains for is Leech Park to there. We do not need three trains. We only need one to go back and forth. Train line three. We can do two. We can do two. And then let's put out this, like I said. We're going to make this a little... Cargo area. We have the demand out the wazoo. So, we're going to time lapse this. Zone it. And we'll be back when it's done.
Okay, so what you see me doing here is laying out the residential zoning in the town right behind um, where that industrial zone is. It was in addition to the town we built on the last episode because at this point our residential demand is insatiable. I don't know why we don't have medium or high density demand. I believe that is probably due to the population rebalance mod I had running. So with that being said, we're going to zone out the rest of this area and I'll take you back to the music. So we are back. Our population is now well over a thousand. We're making even more money. What's upsetting me is my cities are just dying. Like the need for low density is just I think what we're going to do is we're going to do that and that and that. Take care of that. Let's put a little office zone there. Whoa. What the f... Fudge just happened. Residential well. But grab that. That takes care of that. I don't know what happened there. Alright, so they were European. Ah. They are European. Get rid of that zoning. Good for business and good for the community. Thanks. There, that, there, that. I'll be back after this. I want to say the that should be <coughs> okay. You're the only one left. Oh, that's offices. Well, that can be deleted. That doesn't need to be in there. Is that is that it? Oh, that was that was scary. All right, guys, that is the end of this episode. I want to thank you all for coming out and joining me. That was a missed disaster. I almost wiped out half of my city. Thank God it gives you time, and you can pause. But thank you all for coming out and joining me. We will see you next time. Have a good one.